if you are the type of player who is regularly featured in my highlight videos being made to look the fool in 1v5 situations, this is the video for you. I'm Strider the Champ, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the reasons you're bad in Chivalry 2. Chivalry seems like a pretty basic game at the surface. You hit left click to attack, right click to block, and unfortunately many players' knowledge of the different mechanics in Chivalry end with these two buttons. Being good in Chivalry requires the combination of more advanced skills like fainting, dragging, and footwork. If you're not familiar with or proficient in these skills, I recommend you take the time to play through the tutorial. The tutorial is one of the better in-game tutorials I've seen, and it'll walk you through multiple complex mechanics in chivalry. If you're a bottom of the scoreboard player, I would recommend you play the tutorial before hopping in game every play session to refresh your mind. After completing the tutorial, pick one mechanic you learned about and focus on that for the entirety of your play session. For instance, if you never use the dodge mechanic, focus your entire play session around attempting to use this feature. Countering in Chivalry 2 is a defensive maneuver that weaker players do not even attempt, but is vital to your survival in extended fights. To perform a counter, you throw the same attack that your attacker is throwing at while you hold the block button. Countering is so important because it's the only way to replenish your stamina during a fight. Hitting one or two counters in a fight can be the difference between chaining together a large killing spree or having your weapon knocked from your hands, leaving you defenseless. Countering is also useful in 1v X fights for an extended active parry. If you're only holding block as your main form of defense, you're severely limiting your potential as a player. Forcing players to miss strikes on you with footwork and the dodge mechanic opens up better opportunities for an attack than simply just blocking. Your defense should be a combination of these three mechanics. In fact, one of the best things I think I do as a player is manage distance with my footwork and dodge. If you watch me play, you'll notice that I get accused by low skill players of gambling when I use my footwork and dodge to move out of their weapons range. They assume I'm gambling when I start my attack before theirs finishes, when really I knew as soon as they started their strike that they will miss due to my movement and can start my free counter attack. The best defense is always a strong offense, and in chivalry you want to control the initiative by making your opponents react to you. I see a lot of players when they're low on health just backing away, holding block, waiting for the enemies to make a move. This is wrong. You want to always be first and force the action. Attacking with complex drags and feints, even if blocked, will confuse your opponents and cause them to counterattack in more basic patterns, allowing you to have easy counters and defenses. One of my good friends was on the other team against me a few weeks ago, and I had called out that I was one shot, not knowing he was the third enemy attacking me. He commented on how surprised he was when I attacked him like a maniac with such low health, taking initiative, and being aggressive won me that fight. The final reason you're bad in Chivalry 2 is one of the hardest to fix, and that is tunnel vision or a lack of game sense. There's a reason why I can walk through the battlefield bopping people in the back of the head for free kills, and yet it happens to me much more rarely even though I play in first person, and that comes down to my game sense. Many players suffer from extreme tunnel vision and are so focused on their current fight that they lose all awareness of other players. Now I think most of this tunnel vision or lack of game sense generally comes down to a player not having mastered or become proficient in the game's combat mechanics. So their focus is generally on performing these feint drags or dodges, and since it takes all of their effort to perform these combat related mechanics, they lose sight of other enemies surrounding them. Once you have developed these skills to where you can perform them in a very reactionary and organic manner, it's easier to focus more of your attention on your surroundings while just letting your combat mechanics operate on autopilot. Now before you guys go, join the ranks of angels by subscribing for more chivalry content. You can also follow me on Twitch to see the champ stomp lobbies live.